navigating around the FCCS interface. The navigation around FCCS is relatively simple and also consistent across all the cloud services. So the application has a home page where you can choose a number of cards and clusters. You can click on the hamburger navigator button to see all the tasks and clusters you have access to. You'll notice you've got home icon and you can also click on the, in this example, the key teach logo that allows you to customize the interface, but also this acts as a link to the home page. So the home page gives us a consistent landing page. It can be fully customized. And you notice you can navigate to the open and potentially late tasks once you've set the year and the period. Also, the administrators can include announcements. So the announcements area, this white panel, allows you to update the users with announcements relating to activities in the application. But you'll see once you've set the year and period, there are four filters giving you the work lists that the user can work through. The filters are based on what items are open, which ones are late, which ones are due today, and which ones are due within seven days. So you can filter the work lists if the user requires. So announcements can be used to alert users about any particular information that's relevant to FCCS. You can give them a subject and you can define a range of dates, defining the start and end date. And you can have multiple announcements and you see those announcements can be highly formatted and can contain links to other web pages if required. Here we can see the home page and we can see the various cards and clusters that are available within FCCS. Do remember this environment and this interface is fully customizable. So we can define which users access which cards and which clusters. So the cards take you directly to a particular task, whereas the clusters are like a folder and the clusters are used to group various cards and tasks. So we can customize this, and this is done using what are called navigation flows. So different groups of users can use different navigation flows. A navigation flow is determined by the administrator and really specifies which user groups are working with which cards and clusters.